Hello beautiful people, thank you for popping in to see what's happening down on Boddington Farm. I'm in pantry number two. Look, I haven't done a prepping video for a while and I'm doing my list to go shopping because I've been slack. Well, I haven't been slack. I haven't been feeling real well with my fibro and my back. So I haven't been doing much and things have gotten down a bit. Like we've got half a box of wheat bix. I used to have like six boxes. So that's how bad I've been. And we've got to see what we've got. As you can see, things are being eaten and taken out. But yeah. So here you can see all my dry storage and they've all been stored with oxygen absorbers. So I've got like preserving our eggs with the powdered egg and mushrooms, drying the mushrooms. Um, there's some sun-dried tomatoes in there from last year's crop. I do reuse my jars. That's some um, peppers from last year. These um, poppy lids I reuse for the dry stuff. I must get a um, oxygen absorber in that. So yeah, trying to work out what I need and what's on special. It's quite a few nice specials this week actually. Oop, you can get in there. So yeah, the place is a mess because well, Agent doesn't take his empty boxes out. He's gotten into one of those boxes because he was on night shift and wanted some cup of soups. But when he was on night shift, he didn't close the box up, of course. And then he just dumps the shopping bags everywhere. I mean, look, that was bought three, four weeks ago and it's still in the shopping bag. That's agent for you. So, need to stock up on toilet paper. We're running low. We haven't got two full stacks of it at the moment. Oh, look, another box that Agent has left open. They've actually got a really good deal this week on batteries too, so I'll have to get some more of them. What's happening in here? I've got to get to vac sealing all that rice. We're running low on pasta. Um, I've just opened one of my big tins of oil and decanted them into two of these bottles. So I'll need to replace that. Uh, Agent's practically got no muesli bars or the ones that he'll eat because he's fussy. And I've got to rearrange in here too because when I do go shopping, people go and stuff things in my pantry and they just throw them everywhere. So, oh yay, tuna's on special, need my name. So, yeah, this is our second pantry. And we've got long-term storage downstairs. So, see if there's holes. If you don't like holes, no like holes anywhere. I'm actually surprised that these the boys aren't, haven't been using all these dessert things. But yes, I need to get more gravy too. See what happens when the main prepper isn't feeling well. Things turn to crap. <laughs> well, I think they turn to crap anyway. So yeah, things are looking very empty in my eyes. But, take you for... yeah got lots to get so this is pan well the main pantry the one in the kitchen and that's looking a bit bare as well yep time I went shopping at least we don't need baked beans we've got lots of them <laughs> oh man things are looking so low yep so most people go, oh, but you've got so much food everywhere, Viv. No, I don't. I don't have enough now. 
All up there used to be full of packets of wheat bix. We've got one box, well, a couple of boxes up there with things in it. Got my cheese making kit up there, which I'll have to start using soon. Even the coffee, there used to be like 10 jars of Makona sitting up there, and we're down to two. So, yeah, I think I need to go shopping. So I'm just doing a quick check of the med stock and I'm not happy. We've got enough painkillers there, but other stuff has been taken out. I know John has raided my Panadol Osteo. Children. There's too many gaps in there. So that's, yeah. One of my med drawers. And then in my disgusting bedroom, this stuff is all mostly first aid. So I'll check what's on special and top that up. First of all, right. So yeah, how slack am I? Look, I've got all my jars just sitting there. How bad is that? Look, because <laughs> I actually store all my jars in there on my lids and stuff. So they need to be filled with all my clean jars. And I've got a brand new pack of, I found two. Yes, excuse the mess in my room. I don't know what the cats have done. Look what I got. Yay. Found some of them too. So that's awesome. So yeah, I've got some stocking up to do this weekend. I think I'm gonna drag Agent out. Make sure he's not sitting on the computer all weekend again, which he has been doing. So, there you go, guys. This is what happens when you let your preps go for about two months. Lots of money to fix it. Okay, just doing a quick check on how things are in here. So I haven't checked them for a while. These are all our um, water glassed eggs. I think all up we've got four dozen up here and there's more downstairs. That's all our pepper wine. So everything's looking okay there. That's all our empty bottles that we have to make pepper wine with. And I need to get more grape juice so I can make some more pepper wine. So that's a quick tour of our little pantry. Don't forget the our playlists on our preps and anything else you might want to check up on and look what agent does to the seeds he just throws them i give him a nice box full of seeds and he just comes and throws them in here bad agent so yeah guys take a look at the playlists if you want any tips about setting up a prepper pantry or whatever there's heaps of playlists there so don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and tickle that bell. And I'll see you soon. Catch ya.